the, the $4 billion settlement is the largest criminal environmental settlement to date. Uh, so it is quite an amount of money, but to a corporation like BP, many consider that with the range and scope of the disaster in the Gulf to really just be a drop in the bucket. I think what you have here is a fairly interesting acknowledgement of guilt. I mean, this is, after all, a settlement. BP is, is admitting to all of this. It's admitting to the fact that it has responsibilities, not just for the environmental pollution and the other types of effects that were... Um, consequent to this accident, but actually for the deaths as well. So in addition to the corporate responsibility angle of all this, the fact that you have criminal prosecutions of two individuals means that these are two individuals that can be facing jail time. So in addition to any possible monetary assessment of what has happened, their responsibility could take the form of actually serving quite a long time in prison. You know, in, in my opinion, I mean, it's obviously sort of a landmark settlement. It is the largest settlement. Four, four billion dollars is nothing to sneeze at. The question you have to look at, too, is the intent. What did BP know? How deep are BP's pockets? And the extent of the damage. Uh, and in my personal estimation, $4 billion is not enough for the destruction that, was, that happened because we don't even know the extent today and how much will continue to be impacted by the Deepwater Horizon blowout.